Hey, how's it going? I'm Jay, and today I'm going to be watching Ferris Bueller's Day Off from 1986 from John Hughes. I woke up today and I decided I just didn't want to work, so I figured I haven't seen this movie. Ferris has taken a day off. I'm taking a day off. It just makes sense. So this reaction might be a little more chill because I just woke up. I had a bagel and I grabbed a coffee and I'm just ready to watch this. So let's start the movie. He doesn't have a fever, but he says his stomach hurts and he's seeing spots. Papa? <laughs> Papa? I get it. No. 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 I have a test today. No. I want to go to a good college so I can have a fruitful life. What's this? What's his problem? He doesn't feel well. Yeah, right. Dry that one out. You can fertilize the lawn. Jeannie, I can't <laughs> see that far. Bite the big one, Junior. Wait, you're letting him stay home? I can't believe this. If I was bleeding out my eyes, you guys would make me go to school. She's so jealous. You have your health. Be thankful. That's it. I want out of this family. I'm showing some houses to that, that family from Vermont today, so I'll be in the area now. He's just a sick young boy. You're both very special people. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you, you get better, Pumpkin. Mm -hmm. He looks so awkward. I'll be home at six sharp. I love you, sweetie. Um, Who hasn't done this, though? I used to do this all the time, especially when new video games came out and stuff. They bought it. <laughs> One of the worst performances of my career, and they never doubted it for a second. This is my ninth sick day this semester. The key to faking out the parents is the clammy hands. You lick your palms. It's a little <laughs> childish and stupid, but then so is high school. I love that he's giving you all the tips. I wish I watched this way back in the day. Life moves pretty fast. If you don't stop and look around once in a while, you could miss it. Isms, in my opinion, are not good. A person should not believe in an ism. He should believe in himself. I quote John Lennon, I don't believe in Beatles, I just believe in me. After all, he was the walrus. I could be the walrus. I'd still have to bum rides off of people. Adams, here. Ooh, Ben Adam Stein. Lee. Here. Adam Remember Alice that Ben, St win Ben Stein's money? That was quite the show. Bueller. <laughs> Bueller. Um, he's sick. My best friend's sister's boyfriend's brother's girlfriend saw Ferris pass out at 31 Flavors last night. Thank you, Simone. Fry. Fry. Oh, I love his delivery. Cameron, babe, what's happening? Very little. How do you feel? <laughs> Shredded. Oh, this guy's actually sick? I'm taking the day off. Now get dressed and come on over. This is what I should have done. Instead, I'm watching this movie. Now come on over here and pick me up. Dying. If anybody needs a day off, it's Cameron. Let my Cameron go. <laughs> Pardon my French, but Cameron is so tight that if you stuck a lump of coal up his ass, in two weeks you'd have a diamond. Quite the visual. He has missed an unacceptable number of school days. <laughs> in the opinion of this educator, <laughs> Ferris is not taking his academic growth Too many pencils, oh my god. So far this semester, he has been absent nine times. I forget what my record was. I skipped quite a few days. More than 30, for sure. He has missed nine days. <laughs> Someone's hacking the mainframe. I asked for a car. I got a computer. Grace! Oh my god. Grace! Maybe that's why my memory is so shot. I've been sniffing too much white out back in the day. I can assure you he is truly a very sick boy. <laughs> in 1930, the Republican controlled... So like the principal is Jeffrey Jones, who I recently saw in... Stay tuned, which is a really fun movie. But I was looking into him. He's like a sex pest, like a peed. Anyone? Anyone <laughs> seen this before? Oh, I do the not miss worker. high school. Anyone know what this says? Anyone? Voodoo economic. Yeah, this is way more fun. Look at this. Jeannie! I'm really sorry about your brother. They said he's like on the verge of death. She's Jeannie. so Shut up. pissed off. I love it. She's fuming. How desperate is the situation? Did you see Alien? When that uh, creature was in that guy's stomach? It kind of feels like that. God damn, are you kidding? Do I sound like I'm kidding? <laughs> we got a buzz. We got a buzz. Wait a minute, give me somebody else. Yeah, sure, hold on. Hi, Ferris, how's your bod? <laughs> how's your oh my bod? God, you're dying? I think I may need a kidney transplant. <laughs> <laughs> this guy's a genius. I don't trust this kid any further than I can 
roll him. Well, with your bad knee, Ed, you shouldn't throw anybody. He gives good kids bad ideas. He jeopardizes my ability to effectively govern this student body. He's got a point, a really good point, to be honest. The Sportos, the Motorheads, Geeks, Wastoids, Dweebies, Dickheads, they all adore him. They think he's a righteous <laughs> dude. A righteous dude? Why I have got to catch him this time to show these kids that the example he sets is a first-class ticket to nowhere. You sounded like Dirty Harry just then. Hello. Were you sleeping? Can you hang on for a second? Sure, pal. Cameron, it's my dad. Oh, great. If you're not over here in 15 minutes, you can find a new best friend. All this talking has made me kind of lightheaded. Take a hot bath and then uh, wrap a hot towel around your head. Love you, pal. I love you, too. His parents are so nice. They genuinely give a shit about him. Rare. 20 bucks says he's sitting in his car debating about whether or not he should go out. He'll keep calling me until I come over. He'll make me feel guilty. I'll go, I'll go, what, I'll go. <laughs> shit. Hyping himself up. Nope. Yeah, he had to change his mind. Uh, Sloane Peterson? May I have a word with you, dear? Your father called. Your grandmother has just passed. <gasps> Dead grandmother? Poor little lamb. Who's this girl going out with? I do see her with Ferris Bueller quite a little bit. He's putting all the pieces together, he knows. How do you know it's Mr. Peterson? You you just produce a corpse and uh, I'll release Sloan. I want to see this dead grandmother firsthand. What? It's Ferris Bueller, a little twerp. I'm going to set a trap and let him fall right into it. Roll her old bones on over here and I'll dig up your daughter. You know that school <laughs> policy. Oh my God. Is it not going to be Ferris Aunt Bueller? Rooney's office. Hi, this is Ferris Bueller. Can I speak to Mr. Rooney, please? Oh my God. Tell you what, dipshit, if you don't like my policies, you can just come on down here and smooch my big old white butt. Oh no. Ferris Bueller's online too. <laughs> Holy shit. Hey, Mr. Rooney, how you doing? And I was wondering if it might be possible for my sister to bring home any assignments for my class. Have a nice day. Holy shit. <laughs> He's like, I don't want to go back. No, I, I, I think I owe you an apology, sir. Well, I should say you do. I, uh... Well, I think you should be sorry for Christ's They got sake. me. They got the me. family member dies. It's friggin' Cameron. No, I, I, I didn't think I was talking to you. I thought I was talking to... I can't begin to tell you how embarrassed I am. Pardon my French, but you're an asshole. And you just mind your P's and Q's, buster, and remember who you're dealing with. Bueller. Ferris Bueller. <laughs> She's in... Wait... The panic is real. I want my daughter out in front of the school in 10 minutes by herself. I don't want anybody... It's too suspicious he'll think something's up. I want you out in front of the school with her. I'd like to have a few words with you, by God. That's the worst idea. How can we pick up Sloan if Rooney is there with her? I said for her to be there alone and you freaked. I lightly slapped you. You hit me. I think Cameron was doing a good job on his own. I didn't mean to lose my temper. I'm sorry, it was uncalled for. What are they going to do? Like, what do they want to do today? I used to do that when I was running in the school. Slow down for the doors so that it looks completely normal. To fix the situation, I'm going to have to ask you for a small favor. Oh, now he has to pretend to be the dad? The 1961 Ferrari 250 GT, California. <laughs> Don't take this. Ferris, my father loves his car more than life itself. Ferris? He never drives it. He just rubs it with a diaper. Que bella. You know what I've noticed from watching only like three John Hughes movies? He loves high school students in suits. He knows the mileage, Ferris. Whatever miles we put on, we'll take off. We'll drive home backwards. <laughs> Genius. What a son of a bitch. Oh man. He's gonna be in so much shit, I think. Well, who knows? They could get the car back and everything will be fine and dad won't notice. Perfect. Oh, I noticed that outfit in Ferris's room in the back corner and I thought that maybe he would wear that at some point. I didn't say it though, fuck. I wanna thank you for your warmth and compassion. Any questions so far? Shit. 
Do you have a kiss for daddy? Are you kidding? That's how it is in their family. Seems like a pretty fun day so far. Look at the beret. Save Ferris. Save Ferris. Save Ferris. <laughs> See, we're collecting money to buy Ferris Bueller a new kidney. Go piss up a flagpole. Hey! Hey! You heartless wench! Ferris Bueller's behind this. There is no doubt in my mind. I'm gonna catch this kid and I'm gonna put one hell of a dent in his future. We're not leaving the car here. Why not? It could get wrecked, stolen, scratched, breathed on wrong. A pigeon could shit on it. Who knows? I'm gonna give the guy a fiver to watch. Hey, how you doing? I don't trust this guy. Uh, I want you to take extra special care of this vehicle. Sir. Come on, sir. Come, see what a Finsky can do to a guy's attitude? A Finsky. I'm gonna start sa I don't use money, actually. I was gonna say I'm gonna start saying Finskys, but I don't use cash. Oh no. Bless his little heart. Nine. Oh no. She doesn't see that wooden arm? Come on. Can't believe he's getting away with this. This is the world's tallest building. Ferris, I don't feel too good. Can we leave soon? Here, climb up on this. As someone afraid of heights, this would be terrifying. I think I see my dad. We got a lot to do. Let's go. Oof. Shh, son of a bitch is down there somewhere. <laughs> You want to get married? Sure. Today? <laughs> I'm not getting married. Why not? Why do you mean, why not? Think about it. I'll give you two good reasons why not. My mother and my father. He loves the car. He hates his wife. Why do you do that? Because she's dressed like a cowboy? <laughs> this place gives me the creeps. Hello, may I help you? Party of three for 12? You're Abe Froman. That's right. The Sausage King of Chicago. Are you suggesting that I'm not who I say I am? Okay, Abe. <laughs> no, <laughs> we like to be seated. I'm going to have to call the police. As a matter of fact, I'll call them myself. <sighs> this will be a hoot. Here, give me the phone. I have another call. Oh, he's such a genius. I weep for the future. A, you can never go too far. B, if I'm gonna get busted, it is not gonna be by a guy like that. Okay, bonjour. May I speak to Abe Froman? The sausage king of Chicago. Could you describe him for me, please? Leather jacket. White t-shirt, sweater vest. Devastatingly handsome. Mr. Froman, this is Sergeant Peterson, Chicago Police. They're so good together. Enjoy your lunch. Darling, you are wonderful. They're just masterminds. You thought we wouldn't have any fun. Why should everything work out for him? What makes him so goddamn special? Screw him. He's the only guy I know who feels better when he's sick. I caught Cameron digging the ride once or twice. It's good for him. It teaches him to deal with his fear. I love driving it. It is so choice. Mint. Uh-oh. His dad's there? Is Mr. Rooney in? He's left the school grounds on personal business. Isn't Mrs. Hagel expecting you in consumer ed class? Probably. Mm -mm. What a little asshole. <laughs> what a little asshole. If you want to sell, you have to spend. It's as simple as that. Oh, no. 4,000 restaurants in the downtown area. I picked the one my father goes to. Let's surrender. Never. Very stealthy. Dave, I know, it sounds like I'm... Dave, you're one of the brightest guys in this business. You know what it takes to push this over the radio print, okay? He's got the money. Well, they did it. Perfect. So where is this guy going? Is he going to, like, the funeral home? No? Oh, because this is where kids would hang out if they skip school, probably. Your ass is mine. He thought he had him. Only the fourth hit. Oh no. Oh, I'm, I'm really surprised I didn't go <laughs> He just missed him. Kennedy, 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 Kenned
Well, the billboard said save Ferris. I hate him. I love that he is so motivated to stop Ferris. He's just like had it with him. It's Ed Rooney, Ferris. I'd like to have a word with you. I'm sorry. I can't come to the door right now. Save it, Ferris. Come down here. Thank you for stopping by. <laughs> Who is it? I can't come to the door right now. Oh. <laughs> you can reach my parents at the- It's like this son of a bitch. <laughs> the fact that he's gonna try and break into a student's house is kind of messed up. Oh, this is just a disaster. Oh, he didn't climb the lattice. I really thought it was happening. With the Star Wars music? Oh, the dog door? Come on, dude. Oh. Oh, he's terrifying. Yeah, get the hell out of there, man. Holy. Where are you going? Oh, the art museum. Okay. <laughs> They're part of the squad. <laughs> Look at that shot. Sir. Getting late, buddy. We better go get the car back home. Cameron, what have you seen today? Nothing good. Nothing good? This mean nothing good. <laughs> We've seen everything good. We've seen the whole city. Over there. Oh, no. Oh, they're slick. What's he doing? <laughs> He's licking the glass and making obscene gestures with his hands. <laughs> Community rallies around sick youth. Everybody loves Ferris. They just want to see him get better. No, it really busts my hump, you know? He would Probably not to go back to school. Oh, Ferris just disappeared? We'd like to play a little tune for you. Cameron Fry, this one's for you. <laughs> I love that the float's just going along with it. There's nothing he can't handle. I can't handle anything. Ferris can do anything. I don't know what I'm gonna do. College. But to do what? What are you interested in? Nothing. Me neither. <laughs> what do you think Ferris is gonna do? He's gonna be a fry cook on Venus. <laughs> Seem like Sloane and Cameron are kind of hitting it off. Oh yeah, that guy loves it. <laughs> oh, everybody's getting down. Look at the party on the street. Holy shit. This is nothing like my day off. That was fun. Even the English department is sending flowers. They all love Ferris. Look what Uncle Ed has for you, you little fucker. <laughs> Sleep tight, Pooch. What the hell? Did he just poison the dog? Oh, she thinks it's gonna be Ferris creeping around the house. <laughs> the way she runs up the stairs, holy shit. This tune is one of my personal favorites. That was so quick, huh? Oh, the mileage. <laughs> yeah, man, we're 
about to do this again. There is an intruder in my kitchen. My name's Bueller. I am very cute, I am very alone, and I'm very protective of my body. I do not want it violated or killed, all right? Dickhead! <laughs> oh my god, this guy's car is getting towed. He's having a really shitty day. Oh, and his wallet's there. Oh shit. That's what you get, okay? How many miles did you say this thing had on it when we left? 126 and halfway between three and four tenths. Why? Oh shit. Here's where Cameron goes berserk. I really hope Cameron doesn't get in trouble. I'm saved. Oh, thank you, God. Thank you, thank you. Thank you. I heard that you were feeling ill. Whoa, what a telegram. I think Cameron might have blown a microchip or two. All I wanted to do was give him a good day. We'll have the summer. He'll work and I'll work. Then he'll go to one school and I'll go to another. Basically, that will be it. Sloane's his bigger problem. She still has another year of high school. How do I deal with that? I was serious when I said I would marry her. Cam, can you hear me? Blink if you understand me. Cameron has never been in love. Nobody's ever been in love uh -huh. with him. If things don't change for him, he's gonna marry the first girl he lays. And she's gonna treat him like shit. She won't respect him, because you can't respect somebody who kisses your ass. We better try something else. He's just so terrified, holy. You feeling any better, Cameron? Sooner or later, everybody goes to the zoo. He's just gonna fall and just like, fuck this. Maybe. He's just been like super depressed. Cam, Cameron, wake up! Come on, wake up! Oh shit, Cameron, come on, Cameron! Paris Bueller, you're my hero. You're kidding? <laughs> oh, oh you son of a bitch! <laughs> what a shithead. Cameron. Charlie Sheen. <laughs> drugs? Thank you, no, I'm straight. I meant, are you in here for drugs? Why are you here? Drugs. I don't know why I'm here. Why don't you go home? Why don't you put your thumb up your butt? You wear too much eye makeup. My sister wears too much. People think she's a whore. Keep your comments to yourself, pal. You don't want to talk about your problem? With you, are you serious? Blow yourself. I know what's wrong. I just want to hear you say it. In a nutshell, I hate my brother. That's cool. See, I went home to confirm that the shithead was ditching school. What do you care if your brother ditches school? Why should he get to ditch when everybody else has to go? You could ditch. I'd get caught. You gotta be more crafty. You ought to spend a little more time dealing with yourself. A little less time worrying about what your brother does. Why don't you keep your opinions to yourself? Somebody you should talk to. If you say Ferris Bueller, you lose a testicle. Oh, you know him. <laughs> She's gonna flip. <laughs> oh, are they actually? Wait, you can't reverse and make the the miles go back, right? Then I sort of watched myself from inside. I'm pretty sure that's not how it works, but hey, it's a movie. It's the best day of my life. I'm gonna miss you guys next year. Did you see me change out of my clothes by the jacuzzi? <laughs> Did you? <laughs> I thought you were catatonic. <laughs> I'm not embarrassed. I better check down the car. Hey, Ferris! The miles aren't coming off, going in reverse. Okay, okay, I wasn't crazy. Just have to crack open the odometer. No, forget it. I gotta take a stand. I put up with everything. My old man pushes me around. I never say anything! Well, he's not the problem, I'm the problem. I gotta take a stand against him. You can do it, Cam. I am not going to sit on my ass as the events that affect me unfold to determine the course of my life. I'm going to take a stand. Who do you love? Who do you love? I recognize your frustrations, but I don't know about this one. Dented the shit out of it. <laughs> he'll come home, he'll see what I did, he'll have to deal with me. I'm just tired of being afraid. 
everyone is just like, ah, Cameron, I don't know about this. Oh my god. Well. Ugh. I thought he was already gonna be in shit. This is on another level. What'd I do? You killed the car. I am so nervous for him. Holy shit. Holy shit! That's what I'm saying. I'll take the heat. No. If I didn't want it, I wouldn't have let you take the car out this morning. I made you take the car this morning. It is possible to stop Mr. Ferris Bueller, you know. He and I will just have a little chat. Thanks anyway. Cameron, what? He's overcome his fears. Well, I, I just can't believe she came to you with a story about an intruder. She's had a pretty good scare. I can assure you that her father and I are going to have a... She's getting down with Charlie Sheen. Oh, by the way, I hope your son is feeling better. Tell him all the guys at the station here are pulling for him. Hmm? <clears throat> Hi. But don't hide me, young lady. Let's get out of here. Oh, okay. Okay. You didn't tell me your name. It's Jean, but uh, a lot of a lot of guys call me Shauna. Okay, Jean. Um, I'll see you. Okay. <laughs> now. She's so bashful. The heartthrob, Charlie Sheen. Topper Harley. I had a great time today. It was pretty cool. You think Cameron's gonna be okay? For the first time in his life. He's gonna be just fine. You knew what you were doing when you woke up this morning, didn't you? Young love. Oh shit. I have to go. Love you! I love you too! He's gonna marry me. I was about to close the damn deal with the Vermont people. <laughs> Jeannie, what the hell are you doing? You trying to kill us? <laughs> God, look at this. The race is on. He's bought himself some time. Are all the license plates based on like John Hughes movies? Because that's like M Mom, which is like Mr. Mom. And I saw one that said Vacation, which is like National Lampoon's Vacation. I don't know if John Hughes wrote that or not. And there's another one too that I noticed. I, I forget right now, but it seems like all the license plates are other John Hughes movies. There's been so many close calls. Don't get Damn. Hey, it smells delicious. It is ready. What? Well, that was a great yes. shot. Ow. 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 I'm also curious if the cars are actually from the movies as well, because that's a station wagon that I believe is from the movie. <gasps> He's still lurking around. Looking for this? I got you, Ferris. I've got you right where I want you. How would you feel about another year of high school? Thank God you're all right. You know, we've been worried sick about you. <laughs> Thank you, Mr. Rooney, for driving him home. Now, I want you to go upstairs and get in bed. <laughs> he looks at the camera like, I can't believe I'm getting away with this. You left your wallet on the kitchen floor. <laughs> Yes. This is unreal that this is working out. Nice. How do you feel? 150% better, thank you. Please, don't make me stay home again. I want to go to school. How'd you get to be so sweet? Years of practice. <laughs> You're breaking. <laughs> he just looks so adorable, all bundled up and cozy. I'm going to get myself settled and I'll bring you a hot cup of soup, okay? Life moves pretty fast. You don't stop and look around once in a while, you could miss it. That's a good little way to close it. <laughs> Did you get the fight? Just leave me alone, please. He's gonna ride in the school bus. I mean, I guess he's going there anyway. What I noticed in the credits, I saw Chrissy Swanson with somebody in the classroom. I missed her, but it's funny that she was also in Hot Shots with Charlie Sheen. 
Oh, this is so awkward. They're like, what the hell is wrong with you, sir? So awkward. Gummy bear? <laughs> They've been in my pocket. They're real warm and soft. <laughs> Just like burning up inside. He hates everything today. Oh, an after credit scene. Hey, the thing from Deadpool. It's over. Go home. Go. <laughs> and that was Ferris Bueller's Day Off. Another great John Hughes movie that I wish I saw back in the day. The characters are relatable. The situations would have been relatable to me back in high school. It's fun. It's upbeat, but also has like Cameron's story so it's like kind of grounding it a little bit the pacing was really good too just because you have all the hijinks Jeffrey Jones got just continuously getting more and more pissed off and furious as he can't stop Ferris is great it takes meeting Charlie Sheen of all people to for Jeannie to finally like her brother and focus on herself and not worry it was really good and Ferris got away with everything I don't know how him and Sloan are gonna still be a thing I think he should have taken that extra year of high school because he said that she was gonna be there for an extra year could have been the smarter decision but hey I had a really good time with this I hope you enjoyed my reaction I hope I reacted appropriately to some of the scenes that you remembered watching back in the day and if you liked my reaction please like it and if this is your first time here to my channel please subscribe I do comedy action old-school 80s movies like this I have more John Hughes movies in my future for sure so just thank you for watching and I hope to see you on the next one